Overnight, crews resuming their search this morning for a swimmer who went missing last night in Narragansett. All right, this all happening at Scarborough State Beach, and that is where we find Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt. He joins us live with an update. Hey guys, good morning. Well, I can tell you that the Coast Guard and Narragansett Fire Department just arriving here a few moments ago, beginning to walk and survey part of the beach. We did see a boat in the water as well. They tell us they are looking for a 64 year old man who went swimming yesterday afternoon and did not return. Let me show you some of the video from overnight of these crews who were searching. They got the call around 9 p.m. and searched for a couple of hours before the conditions got out of hand for them and they ultimately had to stop last night. The Coast Guard says that that they were told that this man went for a swim and then uh, unfortunately did not return. Rescue crews were searching here both um, on and over the water as helicopters were being used as well. Right now it's unclear how that these rescue teams were notified of this or the events that were leading up to it, but we know there was a high surf advisory for this area for much of the day yesterday. There's a risk of rip currents for part of the area today, and it's important to remember that if you get caught in one of these rip currents, you have to stay calm. If you see a lifeguard, raise your hands, wave them back and forth, let them know you need help, yell. Then once you're out of there, you swim away from the rip current parallel to the shore and then in on a diagonal. So the name of this man has not been released at this time, but rescue crews are hoping that with slightly better conditions today and of course some daylight, they'll be having some better luck as well. Live in Narragansett, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.